Welcome back to Vampire. We've got a series of strange events that have happened at the Western Docks. Got three exclamation marks here that I want to check out. First one I want to focus on is the one at the Asylum. Reportedly from the newspaper article, and from what we've heard from other people I think as well, things have gotten really bad here with Sean Hampton becoming very cult-like, being strange. Sean, Hampton, Sean Hampton's now gone missing. Sanitary conditions around this area have gotten quite a bit worse, so let's see what's happening here. Looks like the front door's barricaded. Yeah, that's not a good sign. I think there's a side entrance, though. Are there people inside? Who are you? No names popping up. Oh, here we go, yeah. Oh. Oh, they're skulls. Hmm, yeah, that's not good. That's real bad, actually. Let's gather them all up and do the ultimate. Get some AoE damage going. <laughs> okay, okay. No, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they never even cleaned up this body out here, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, the uh, patients are gone. I don't think they were any in any fit state to just walk away and find somewhere else. It's locked, all right. Meaning, I think they were probably eaten. What on earth happened here? What the fuck? I should have killed Sean Hampton. Fuck, I should have killed him. Hey, Sean. Okay, yep. No talking. Oh, shit. Those came from. Rusted key, Sean's cross. Okay. Shit, I really should have killed them. Damn it. So, that cross, is that a quest item? No, the rusted key is. Belonged to Sean Hampton, probably used to open a chest or a trunk. Hopefully, I can find that one, unlike Dyson Delaney's key. Never found what that was for. Simple cross, worn at all times by Sean Hampton, even even after he became a skull. Guess it's just something I can deconstruct or sell. Uh, I don't, I don't want to know what I'm going to find in the murder basement. Where's the uh, exclamation mark? Is it? Oh, it's gone. I think it was Sean Hampton. But let's check the murder basement. Anything changed? Still murdery, still looks the same. 
I do want to find what that key's for, though. Oh, there we go. Th 350 shillings. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Brisk blood sample, watery sturdy blood sample. Yeah, some really good stuff in there. Beautiful necklace, wedding ring. Silver watch, cigarette case, just keeps on coming. I think that's it. I don't see any other life signs around here. God, where did all the people go? Yeah, it's just a ghost town here. Now, there were some other people here, and I don't believe they're dead, right? Like, uh... Yeah, so I killed these two people. Um, oh, I also killed Dyson, I suppose. They were a monster, though. Sean Hampton, I've now killed... I don't know who the hell that is. Oh, Giselle Paxton. Yeah, so they used to be here. Now they're missing. They're also missing. Damn. I hope they're alive. Alright, next exclamation mark is over this way a little bit. Got some vampire hunters in the way as well. Is it up here? No, it's down below. <laughs> Turned into a cloud of blood. That's Giselle Paxton. Shit. I didn't realize that until I was like just about striking the final blow. Did they not recognize who I was? Did they not care anymore? I thought they kind of liked me after I helped them out. I guess they didn't know I was a vampire before, and now they do. Well, they did. Shit. Wow, this whole district, I just, I fucked it. I just fucked it up. So that was that exclamation mark then. Oh, hi. Not a <laughs> Another one over here by the water. What about here, right? Yeah. Lottie Paxton! Wait. So... So Lottie Paxton's now a skull. Giselle Paxton wasn't, though. No, they were still human. This entire place, I've just, I've just ruined the whole thing. I mean, I guess Sean Hampton pretty much is the one who did it, but... I should have killed him. Oh, they're level 30, wow. They notice me. Oh, 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 God. 
Oh, so much damage. Okay, let's attempt this again. Um, I think this time I'm going to use the good old Hacksaw and Snake. I think that'll serve me a bit better here. I want to be really agile and avoid their attacks because they do so much damage. Uh, I think I'm also going to try to use the Shotgun also to keep my distance. And I've also made some more serums so that I can heal myself with them. Let's take out the adds first. Well, I'll do the ult on, on Lottie since it's an AoE. There we go. And shotgun. key. Probably also for a small box. Somewhere. Who knows where. I guess I'll look at the description for it. Probably won't tell me anything illuminating though. Probably used to open a small chest or trunk. I have no idea where that could be for. Um, there was that like locked medical box um, at the asylum. I don't see why that would be there, since they weren't a doctor or anything, but they did hang out in the area. I guess I'll go check. Oh, it was for that. Treatment for fatigue, treatment for anemia, treatment for cold, treatment for bronchitis. Nice. That's really good, actually. Treatment for headache? Treatment for migraine? That just saved me a lot of resources. I found a note, by the way, that I didn't read on camera because I thought it was useless and didn't really mean much, but it did give me a new hint for Ichabod, Ichabod Throgmorton. It was from the Guard of Pruin, basically saying, we're the real vampire hunters. If you encounter this person, Ichabod, saying that they're a vampire hunter, ignore them, they're a joke, they're not even a con man, because they don't even ask for money. And in a fight with a vampire, they're, no, they're not good for anything more than bait, is what it said. And that opened up this. You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. You have courage, Mr. Throckmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Oh, I failed a hint. Damn it, I shouldn't have encouraged them. Ah. I think we have a couple of new things that we can say to Edwina Cox and Booth Digby. They're related to the murder of... Was it the trade unionist or somebody? Something. Something that had to do, I think, with... Giselle and or Lottie. I guess that doesn't matter anymore because they're both dead. But I'll see what I can do anyway. But before I do that, let's buy some stuff from them. So I'm really on the lookout for any of these blue tier parts. Those are the ones I need to get from level 3 weapons to level 4. So I'm actually going to buy all these good trigger parts. Unfortunately, they don't have any good handles. But they do have this for at least guns. Actually, I was wrong. Nothing new to talk about with either of them. Right, we're back at the Pembroke Hospital now. Let's see what's going on here. There's two exclamation marks, which is upsetting. So let's see what's going on with the first one. 
Is it over here? Oh, is it with Ashbury? Is that the one? Yeah, it looks like it. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of Old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar Shit. name. I've never heard of her. Shit. I... Mm. I didn't know that that was talking about Old Bridget. That dialogue option. I thought it was about Sean Hampton. Oh, that dialogue option really should have mentioned, hey, I'm going to reveal the existence of Old Bridget, because remember the promise that I made with Old Bridget, don't tell anybody about their existence. I just accidentally broke it because the game didn't give me enough information. Fuck. Ah, oh, I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. According to Old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Okay, they're not too into it then. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Goodbye for now, my lady. I guess they weren't the exclamation mark. Something I've been thinking about is the difference in looks between Lady Ashbury and, and Jonathan Reed. So they're both Ekons, right? And they're both vampires. But as... God, they're so disturbing looking. As Jonathan's leveled up more and become more, I guess, vampiric, more powerful, they look less human, right? They're getting more pale, they're getting more veiny, and especially their eyes are really starting to turn and look pretty monstrous. But notice Lady Ashbury, who I'm assuming is way more powerful than me because they've been alive for so much longer and, and been a vampire for so much longer, looks completely 100% human. Their eyes don't look weird. They don't have any weird veininess. And I mean, I guess the veininess could be covered up by makeup, but not not the eyes. You couldn't fix these eyes. Not even contacts would fix that. Just curious why that is. Anyway, where is that exclamation mark? Oh, that was the exclamation mark. I thought it would be like a whole thing. It was just a quick conversation, I guess. Alright, I think we got something at the front desk, or maybe on the second floor. Probably Swansea. Yeah, it's probably Swansea up here. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. Okay, so let's not mention old Bridget anymore. I, hmm. I guess I probably shouldn't mention Harriet Jones either, right? What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. That's about what we got from them. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. 
if vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Let's get Milton Shotgun up to level 4. It's going to give it almost 100 more damage. Nice. And it's really intriguing uh, specializations here. So I can just straight up increase the damage. Or I can switch the damage type to either incendiary or chemical. So chemical is good against humans and incendiary is good against beasts and vampires. I don't really need to worry about extraordinarily powerful humans all that much. I'm more... I, I think I've mostly used the shotgun against beasts and, and other non-human creatures, so I want to go with incendiary. Unfortunately, though, it takes five white phosphorus, and I don't have any. I don't know where to find or buy that stuff, but I'm going to leave this open and just keep a lookout for it. Just providing medicine to everybody who needs it, and actually, now that I'm talking to Thero Strickland, that reminds me, I need to report back to them about the drug provider. Remember that quest? I never turned it in. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Is that a new investigation, or...? Investigation updated, so maybe it's not complete, it's just the same one continuing. I want to know about these secret tests you run, and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Do I want to throw my support behind them? I don't know. They make me a little bit uncomfortable with their methods. They haven't clarified exactly how they're doing the tests. They said they tested... Uh, they ran some test cases on hopeless patients. So... I mean, that's better than just running it on some random person, but did you get their consent? I feel like they probably didn't. Uh. Don't you think we have enough work already? Perhaps now is not the best time to be chasing shadows. Chasing shadows, really? It's funny those words coming from the only doctor here who has spent more time outside this hospital than in. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Oh. So, Jonathan's whole idea is basically just to placate Strickland? Make them think it's working by, I don't know, making people happy with opium or something? I, uh, yeah, I really want to stop what they're doing. Alright, I think that's everything done for here. So, finish the, or, well, finish part of the quest with Strickland, and also gave medicine to the four people that needed it in this place, took care of all the exclamation marks. Hopefully tomorrow it'll get above serious and stable, or maybe even healthy. I think I'm gonna end this episode here, and in the next one, we're gonna head over here to continue the main quest.